Hello everybody, it's lovely to meet you for those that I haven't met and for those of you who don't know, my name is Nick Davis and I've set up this Patreon account in the hope that I can reach people to help us all to show up and own up as ourselves, to redefine our reality, to make it far truer and more sustainable and to really be able to connect with one another. Now, they're really big statements and they can mean lots of things. So. Maybe first it might help if I introduce myself. So as I said, I'm Nick. Um, I mean, people say, what do you do? Again, I think that's a massive question. I haven't got a very straightforward or simple answer. I'm a mum. I have three beautiful children. I'm a wife. I spent 24 years uh, practicing as a management consultant. I've been a stay-at-home mum. I've had a career change. And now I would, um, very much like to think of myself as a, a writer and somebody who is just hopefully putting some real inspiration and call to action to to show up and put ourselves out there now what you'll see is I'm currently sat in my office which is also my daughter's playroom uh, you'll see lots of creativity around me and you'll also notice that I'm sat here uh, very raw and in the flesh. I'm just back from doing the school run in the morning and no, my hair isn't done and I haven't got any makeup on because it's it's just about being authentic and in the moment for me. And I just decided to do this introductory vlog five minutes ago for this patron account. And so I'm doing it because I think it's about the content of what I'm saying, not necessarily how I look, which as you get to know me, um, you might find a bit of a dichotomy because actually I'm a, I'm a really passionate and slightly mad fashionista. So I, I love clothes and I, I love designing clothes and I love making real statement pieces and I love wearing really different things and my house is decorated in the most quirky and eccentric way possible. But equally, I'm also very authentic, you know, and today this is me. I've been on the school run. I'm going to work for a little bit now and um, get some inspiration, do some writing, do this vlog. And then I'm going to go out and run with my four dogs. <laughs> and then after that, I'm going to pick the kids up. I'm going to do the football run and um, hopefully later on tonight, sit down with a glass of wine. So what is this all about? So. So Patreon is based on the concept of, of people joining up and donating an amount of money per month that they're comfortable with. And the reason that that's important is because um, actually there's some stuff I would really like to do with the work I do um, in terms of investing in my learning and development in order that I can do more, bigger and better things. So it would be absolutely wonderful I would be so grateful if people would be happy to donate an amount that is comfortable for them and and most importantly if this work is of value to them now I blog and vlog a lot I, I have a Facebook group I have a Facebook page uh, I post on LinkedIn I have a website I have Instagram I have Twitter I have all of the social media channels because that's the way the world works that's how we can reach people and that's what they're about their channels to reach you and I, I talk a lot and I write a lot some of it will resonate with you some of it won't and that's fine but in this channel in particular what I want to do is be a little bit more focused so I spent 20 odd years as a management consultant and actually I really loved it and one of the things I really loved about consultancy was the ability to take very, very complex, messy, insurmountable problems, and they were generally insurmountable because otherwise people wouldn't have been paying us to come in and solve them. They would have done it themselves. And it was it was really getting through that complexity to to the simplicity to be able to find the answer and effectively getting back to first principles. And in order to do that, we were taught lots of different tools and techniques that we could apply to be able to do it. And I loved it. I loved the the intellectual challenge and the the stimulation and the rhythm really, the rhythm of of working through a problem and, and taking layer upon layer upon layer off until actually you got to first principles and you could start to see a solution. And as life went on for me, my, my career was a, a wonderful time, but as with everything, you know, everything has a time and a place. And I I had a career break because I got postnatal depression after my third child. And then I got introduced to lots of different aspects of life. 
including addiction, including death, mortality, grief, the menopause, uh, and as I say, depression. And one of the things that I found really helpful along my journey is actually applying some of these tools in life. And so what I'd like to do in this space, for those of you who'd like to join me, is to take some of these tools, probably one a month, and actually talk about it and show you how you can use it to navigate this mad thing called life, which is sometimes messy and chaotic and uncertain and scary, and we can get lost in it. And I've really found that, you know, it's so important to have a compass when things are getting really messy around you. So each month I'm going to take a different technique, a different tool, and I'm going to couple it with a story to bring it to life, otherwise, quite frankly, it'll be a bit dry. And I'm going to couple it with a story to bring it to life, to show how I've used it to help me, to help me grow, to help me develop, to help me find my truth, to help me take my layers of armour off, and just to help me see the wood for the trees. So I'm going to start month one. And month one is going to talk about my biggest ever challenge that I still face every single day of my life, my biggest lesson. I'm very much a student in this space and, and also my biggest responsibility. And that is that of being a parent. I'm a parent of three children. Um, I take my role very seriously. I've got an enormous amount invested with my children. I, I love them in a way that I never knew you could love. And I'm, I'm sure, along with many of you, desperately trying not to get it wrong and to do the very best that I can. But by definition, in order to uh, be a human being, I will sometimes get it wrong. But one of the things I've done is um, sometimes I apply some of my processes and tools to help me do parenting, just to, to help me get some rationale because I'm so emotionally involved. Sometimes it can be very difficult to step back from that and, and not actually teaching our children things such as respect and boundaries and that actions have consequences and responsibility isn't necessarily doing them any favours. So that's the first subject I'd like to talk about. Uh, and then there are going to be a series of, of others. You know, and I'm going to talk about um, some of the tools and techniques that I use with my menopause. I'm having a menopause. I started my menopause at 45, two years ago. I'm now 47. And it's been a bit of a tough ride, to say the least. So, you know, I turned to my toolkit to help me. Um, I'd like to talk in one session about marriage. You know, I'm very blessed. I met my soulmate. I love my husband deeply. But, you know, no marriage is plain sailing. And sometimes we need a bit of a hand. And, and again, you know, there are some tools that I've gone, oh, do you know what? I think this might be of use as we've both sat down and laughed about it because my husband is also a management consultant. Um... There's also one I would love to do around addiction. I um, have had a financial addiction. I've had a very toxic relationship with money for the majority of my life. I effectively put myself in financial rehab about 18 months ago now. And I wrote a very uh, raw and revealing blog on my journey with money, um, what I'd done, what I hadn't done, and how it was gonna be going forward. And again, I used some of my tools and techniques just, just to help me get through that. So, so that hopefully gives you a flavour of some of the of the stories and you know maybe ideas and, and different perspectives and different ways that I've been able to to look at them. There isn't a um, this isn't a a, a right or wrong um, approach. This is offering perhaps some alternative perspectives and some tools to effectively, I guess, help you be your own coach and help you to, to find your way forward. So I, I really hope this resonates with people and I hope it's of use. Uh, and if it is, uh, I'm very, very, very happy and very grateful that I can help people. And if it isn't, I completely understand. So I wish everybody all the very best and it would be lovely to see you take this journey on Patreon with me. Thank you, bye.